Hi, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, Blue Planet. Easily one of my favorite games out there. Now, science fiction role-playing has been around since pretty much the dawn of role-playing. If you look at games like Traveler and Star Frontiers. Now, most science fiction role-playing, not all but most, has been in the space opera genre. You've had things like Star Wars, Star Trek, influencing what's out there. And there's nothing wrong with that. But every now and then, a really good, hard science role-playing game creeps up there and surprises you. Blue Planet is definitely one of these. This is not a game about swooping starships, blaster fire, and strange mystic nights in space. This is a game grounded in real science. You can, one of the ways you can really tell is if you read through this book and its supplements, there are several, what you can see is that the authors really had a very fundamental understanding of planetology, climatology, and biology, which makes sense because the, most of the original authors of this game were marine biologists. So they really knew what they were talking about. This is a game that supposes a few things. It's about 200 years in the future. At the end of the 21st century, we find a wormhole at the end of the solar system that we go through. We find another system completely habitable by people that has a planet wonderful. The only difference between it and Earth is it's a little bit smaller and it is over 90% water, thus the name Blue Planet. The planet's name is Poseidon. Now, once we're there, there's a lot of things that happen. We discover that there is an ore that can actually allow for the complete genetic redesign of people from the ground up, which allows a lot of biomodification, genetic engineering, which opens up sort of a cyberpunk-ish sort of setting, but it's it's not whether any of these drive you crazy or make you less human. This is a very neat engine to use as well because it is at once simple and rules light and very, very deadly. This game is not a game of high action and daring do. This is a game where getting shot can kill you and kill you very quickly. It's fairly realistic and it's an odd combination of rules light and realism. Most rules light games tend toward the cinematic end of things. Not this one. And it's really a very good, very interesting game. You can build a character with no end of bio modifications from being a human with gills to a cat-human hybrid to a cybernetically enhanced human. There's a lot of mystery about the world. Why does it exist the way that it does? Why? What is the xenosilicate or this ore that allows you to change what you're doing? There are more people flooding into Poseidon than ever before simply because Earth is pretty much completely fallen apart. Between a blight, corporate takeovers, there's not much left on Earth. It's a world of hurt. Poseidon is the future of the human race. What does Poseidon think about that? That's the nature of the game. If you like hard science fiction, if you like a very detailed world with a lot of campaign options, with a lot of ideas running around it, folks, this is a game that is very definitely for you. If you have any questions or comments or things you'd like to see us review, please feel free to contact us at knweagle at yahoo.com. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good night and good gaming.